Alright guys, what's going on? Loot on the round just ended. And what a show, what a show. The big match for tonight, as you will probably know, is Montanza Cueto versus my personal favorite on Lucha Underground, The Machine Cage. And whoo, we gotta wait for that match. That match was fucking awesome. But we've got our first match, which is Son of Havoc, which I also really like him versus Daga. And and I I, I like Daga, I have to say, because he's 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 showing what he can do, and he's having good matches. Is but. Why, why has Cobra Moon got to get involved in this match? I didn't like her when she debuted, and I still don't like her now, so why would I like her at all? You know what I'm saying here? So, uh, the match was good. Sound of Havoc still wins, thankfully. He hit a suicide dive on Daga out the ring, and Daga landed in some dude's lap. I was like, holy shit. And, uh, so, he gets on top of Sound of Havoc, does Daga is on the mat, whatever, and Cobra Moon's trying to stop Son of Havoc by grabbing his leg. Doesn't work, he just kicks her down. Daga gets up to the top rope, and he takes him down with that, like, suplex, whatever, and, uh, Son of Havoc hits the, hits whatever he does. I honestly just had a brain fart and forgot the name of the move, but you know what I'm talking about, like that moonsault, 450 splash, whatever. I think it's a moonsault. What am I doing? I don't know. But whatever. Might be the 455 splash or three, whatever. Just whatever, guys. I forget. I have brain farts. Don't. Don't. I don't know. But yeah. Um. After the match, since I don't have a one, Cobra Moon's trying to help Dog up, and she's. Uh, I don't. I don't like her, guys. Uh. And Dog is just like pushing her way. So Dog, I don't know what's gonna happen with this. It's probably end up being nothing. Who knows, really? But that was an okay way to start the show. The match was pretty good, though. I just don't like the Cover Moon part of it. She's just too freaky and weird looking. I don't really know, but uh, yeah. So it was good, and then we go to the back, and we had a rematch for the trios title tournament. Well, we had the rematch for the trios titles, and um, like before the match, Jeremy Mysterio was hitting the punch back. Here comes El Dragon Azteca Jr. And he's like, he's going to go after Montanza without him. And Rey Mysterio's like, no, you have to wait. We have to focus on our trio's titles. And here comes Red Spuma. Uh, and he kind of runs. He's like, Rey Mysterio's like, back up. And Prince Puma looks at him like, bitch, I will crush you. And then uh, uh, he's like, no, wait, you're right. We got a match. So they go out there. And guys, if I'm being totally honest, Rey Mysterio is the fucking man. And he always will be the man. He is amazing. It's just... My pick for this match was Johnny Mundo, Jack Evans, and PJ Black for sure. They are badass. Badass. And they kick you in the balls a shit ton after you saw from that match. But, um, so, Rey Mysterio is in the ring with PJ Black. So, PJ Black jumps top or whatever. Rey Mysterio gets on his shoulders. And PJ Black just throws him up in the air and kicks him right in the sack. Without the ref seeing. The ref was distracted by Taya or whatever and and you see the same theme of this going forward in the match just like you saw last week but Jack Evans is one of the most athletic people in wrestling ever guys Jack Evans is a beast beast he is that standing moonsaw off of Rey Mysterio like he's standing on Rey Mysterio and then flips hit the standing moonsaw right that was insane already but when he gets up and he don't get the the, the pin count he wanted he's like none of the refs here can count to three <laughs> that shit was funny because he just talked he's like one of the vocal wrestlers and I think that's always pretty cool but uh and again they distract the referee again and Johnny Mundo hits I think it was this time it was El Dragon Azteca in the sack again so yes, two times now. But I have to say, El Dragon Azteca has one of the is has the best DDT ever. That tilt to war DDT, like he hits the tilt to war and then like jumps off the person and catches him, hits him with a DDT. That's the nastiest DDT I've ever seen. And so after he kicks, General Mendo kicks Dragon Azteca in the sack. Prince Puma was pissed. At this point, I think Prince Puma was done. He was just tired of him doing that. So he goes in and just kicks him right in the balls. And the rest stops the match. And Jack Evans and all them like you can't control your temper, 
and but they just did. Oh god, it was pretty. It was always just. It's just funny. Uh, those guys are just arrogant, badass. Just they're awesome. But he was at Prince Wilma tried to super kick Mundo right after the match because they were still talking trash. And he Mundo moves and he super kicks the shit out of Taya. I mean, just the shit out of Taya. Like, oh my gosh. So great, great beginning of the show. But now we have to get to the main event. The match that I'm watching with Jungle Graph 49. I watch it every week if I can. And you get the review, but you know what I'm saying. Well, you know what I mean. Just this match is just like, oh my god. That's just the. That's like, yeah. So this match was insane, guys. And you thought that No Mortez put, would be like the only person to take down Montanza? No. Cage. Fucking. I mean, he powerbombed him into the fence, like the guardrail fence thingy or whatever. And almost hit him into the, uh, he pulled up the mats, was gotta get him down the mats, but then Montanza, on the outside, is two gut wrench suplexes, and then hits a nasty German suplex, and Cage just, like, head first to impact to the mat. Like, just, like, oh my gosh. So, they get back into the ring, they're still fighting some more, and Cage hits 20 clotheslines in the corner repeatedly, just boom, boom. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And the dude still gets up. And he's still fine. So they go back and they hit German suplexes, right? So Cage hits Montanza with a German suplex. And Montanza just stands up like that and didn't do anything. So Cage, uh, I mean Montanza being the person that he is, he turns around and hits Cage with a freaking German suplex. And Cage gets right back up. And then guess what? Cage hits Montanza with a German suplex. Montanza gets right back, back up. Same again for Cage. Cage just gets back up off of another German suplex. And so I'm like, yeah, this is pretty insane. But finally, Montanza hits that weird looking suplex he does where he pulls him onto the side and just curls him over. And I'm like, oh god, Cage, come on, get up, get up. Just, just get up every time, right? Uh, but Montanza hits that. What What is that move called? He gets him. And it's kind of like a world strongest thing, but he like spins. And it takes him there with like a lot of momentum, slams him down, and Montanza wins. Damn, I was pissed, dude. I, I've liked everything Montanza has done in Lucha Underground. I've liked that he's took it out Memortez because I did not like Memortez at all. I was okay with him beating Phoenix because that was like a, still a good match. I was not okay with him beating Cage because Cage, I thought, deserved it after winning the Gift of the Gods Championship last week and cashing in the title or whatever. And I thought, really, he had. To me, he had a bigger chance than winning the Mil Mortez from this match. They he took Montanza to the limit. Like one movie hit was like the sit out X, X Factor or whatever. Like that was insane. He had an Alabama slam and Cage of all people hit a moonsault off the top rope on the outside. And then hits a standing moonsault. Like Cage Cage could have won that match. The, everybody in the temple did. The, all the believers wanted him to win that match, right? And yet everybody wanted him to win that match. Come on now. And obviously he didn't. I'm fine with that. I think that from what we've been seeing with El Dragon Azteca Jr. And his storyline going to this. I think that at Ultimate Lucha. Whatever their big thing is. Ultima Lucha. If I'm saying that right. Bontans versus El Dragon Azteca Jr. Since he didn't win the Trios Championships tonight, the whole thing in the backstage movie thing is they do. He has been trying to get the Montans of the whole season. And I swear, I think that's what they're building up to. As to what goes with for Cage, I hope he gets another shot at something. I don't know what he does, but the dude, he's amazing. He is truly amazing. But that is my Lucha Underground review for this week. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know your favorite parts of the show let me know your least favorite parts of the show uh thank you so much for watching we've got a diamond dynasty video tomorrow and a road to the show episode tomorrow so yeah i am out thank you so much for watching guys